I can't guard. I mean, nobody can guard Jokic, but uh, I disagree. No, <laughs> I disagree. No, I still put it like this. I can. Uh, don't, I don't do that. No, don't I can do guard that. Him better than he's being guarded. They played great against my sons, and they played great in game one against. And I was like, I said, dude, I might be wrong. Sons ain't got no big man. Though. I know that, but I. But they played great in game one and game two in Denver. The sons ain't got no big man. No, you watch them play. Yeah, got no big man. <laughs> Not I'll one big man. No the <laughs> ain't a big man on the show. I'm talking to you, God. No, I want to talk. Yeah. I want to talk. KD the son's big man. When Draymond Green started his podcast, The Draymond Green Show, he called himself the new media. He said he was tired of the hot takes, agenda pushing, and false narratives on other platforms. He even called out Skip Bayless specifically. To absolutely destroy Skip Bayless? Uh, <laughs> everybody agree? <laughs> like, fuck guy sucks. But Draymond has proven that he's no different than the media he criticizes. First, he would trash Rudy Gobert and blame him for Jokic dominating the series against the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert is getting cooked. They need to get Carl Anthony Towns on Rudy Gobert, but yeah, it's over. How do you get 40 points and 13 assists? Don't you have to get A or B? Well, Rudy they, Gobert. <laughs> I know that, but you should not be able to get 40 and make everybody around you better. I got him straight up with Rudy Gobert. Well, he should. Well, how's he getting assists? I don't know. But Nicole Jokic was dominating everyone. Rudy Gobert, Carl Anthony Towns, Nas Reed, Alexander Walker. It wouldn't have mattered who you had on him. He also dominated Anthony Davis in the previous series and Draymond himself in the regular season. It's not that all the criticism is unfair. Rudy Gobert is a four-time Defensive Player of the Year. He's expected to play great defense, but for Draymond, it's not about that. Draymond just doesn't like Rudy Gobert, and he also didn't want to give Nicole Jokic credit for being unstoppable. And we know this because he suggested that Cat should be Jokic's primary defender. Do that. See what happens. Even if Rudy Gobert played a great game and locked down Jokic, Draymond would never praise him. Draymond went on to say that the New York Knicks playoff run was a complete fluke. Oh, I told the truth him. about the team. Uh, well, uh, and the truth about the team man, was, it's a fluke. Claiming that the Knicks haven't played any good teams, even though he picked Joel Embiid and the 76ers to win the first round. And the only reason Indiana doesn't seem that great is because Tyrese Halliburton hasn't been consistent in the playoffs. And keep in mind, the Knicks just lost OG Ananobi. They were already without Julius Randle and Mitchell Robinson, but they're still winning. Draymond pushes agendas and false narratives he is completely biased in every way, and his entire media career has just become him taking shots at other players and teams. Big Frenchman is sitting on that podium, speaking his native language. We, we, we need to do this. You, you, you need to get a stop. Teams are picking on Al Horford in the pick and roll. What's going to be uh, y'all adjustment? People just calling Al Horford into the screen and roll every time. Which is crazy, considering it began with him saying that he was going to empower players and start the new media. He's also incapable of being wrong and constantly moves goalposts. A ball dominant, Jalen Brunson, ain't going to get you to the promised land, I said. I didn't say you weren't going to win first round series. I didn't even say you weren't going to win the second round series. First, it was the Knicks having any playoff success is a fluke, and now you're saying that they wouldn't win a championship. But that's all I have for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.